Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I've got a new melter to show you. All right, welcome back to the channel. The melter I have to show you today is from a company called Two Auto and it's the Two Auto V3 candle making melter. All right, a little about the melter before I show it to you. Uh, it's a US based or US plug uh, melter. Uh, the heat temperature ranges are anywhere from 80 to about 212 degrees. I haven't tested it all the way to 212, but I will do that in a second video. This is gonna be kind of a first look. Uh, I've been using it the last couple of days to pour a bunch of melts, but I wanted to get in here and do a first look on this thing because it's actually a really nice melter that you guys should definitely check out. And of course, I've got links to the melter in the video description down below. You can find it on Amazon. But let's go ahead and jump right in. I'll show you exactly how this melter works. All right, so I just got this thing a little while ago. I've been meaning to do a video. I will say first impressions right out of the box. This thing is nice looking, uh, very nice looking. It comes with a uh, big long stir, big long spoon. So you can actually get down inside this thing. Wick tabs, wick centering devices, wicks, and the handle on that thing is very nice. Uh, nice solid construction on that. That's actually really nice. Nice stainless steel construction in there. And I think you can see it down in there. The base of that goes all the way to the bottom. I mean, there's like a quarter of an inch between the very bottom and the spout, which is really nice. So you're not going to get a ton of wax, like a good inch or two up like you can with some of the Presto Pots. Uh, it comes with a Velcro jacket to keep the heat inside and so you can actually touch the outside of it without being too warm. That's actually a really nice feature. It's got a nice looking dial on that thing. And then I just noticed this one. That is a power switch that's actually covered with plastic so you don't get wax inside of that and that's actually a really nice feature too and honestly even the manual in this thing is really well done it's got everything as far as setup how to all right so i'm starting this thing out doing some melts so i'm going to go ahead and add some a27 which you can find on diycandlesupply.com uh, this is a melt wax from all seasons wax and we're going to go ahead and load this thing up and start melting it down It is also 5.05 when we're starting this and we'll see how long it takes to melt. All right, so I went ahead and put two bags of the A27 in there. It took it to about three quarters of the way up. And of course, as with all new melters, <laughs> you almost always start in the on position. <laughs> so it started dripping everywhere. So I've got that off. So if you do get one of these, make sure you turn that to off. Uh, I sell melters, I should know that. Uh, this is about three quarters of the way up, so that is 4.4 pounds of wax, but once it melts, it's gonna go down quite a bit more. All right, so it is 516, and that wax is getting pretty good. That's very close to being melted. That is... <clears throat> All right, so it is 516, and that wax is getting very close to being all the way melted. That is nice and quick. Uh, again, it's only 4.4 pounds, but that's still pretty fast. All right, so we're looking at just about 19 minutes and that wax is completely melted. I'm gonna let it sit and get a little bit more up to temperature and then we'll go ahead and pour. 
All right, and we're gonna be using Sweater Weather for our fragrance. Uh, this A27 holds about 10%, so we've got just under three ounces, 2.9 ounces is gonna go into about 30 ounces of wax. And then we'll go ahead and measure, we'll go ahead and measure against that sticker up to 30 ounces. All right, so that's pretty much it for the first look on this melter. Uh, like I said, this thing is actually really nice right out of the box. I was definitely surprised at a lot of the things I saw on it. Uh, not only do you have the full metal spigot, which is really nice. You don't have to do any conversions or anything like that. Really nice right out of the box. Uh, good temperature gauge. Uh, you can see in the video, this thing immediately started heating up. Uh, I mean, within minutes, it started to pour out of the spout, which I, of course, forgot to put in the off position. And it was completely melted within right around like 19 or 20 minutes, uh, incredibly fast. Now, I will go through in the full review video because I'm gonna test this a little bit more. I've got a ton of melts to make, but I'm gonna go through and fill this thing completely up and I'll do a more in-depth video on the full review. Uh, showing exactly how long it takes to melt an entire pot. I, but so far, very impressed with this thing. It's actually really nice. Uh, it's nice and lightweight, but once you get wax inside there, uh, it's real sturdy. The uh, the spigot, when you go to turn it on and off, is very easy to turn, very easy to turn on and off. And then on top of that, you've got the jacket that goes around it so you can keep it a little bit more insulated. That definitely helps with heating up. It definitely helps with grabbing the side of it if you're going to move it around the counter. Uh, it's not going to get as hot as a fully exposed metal melter. And for anybody wondering, this thing sits probably about 15 inches tall on the counter and it's probably about 10 by 10 all the way around. So pretty good size melter, but easy enough to put into a corner. If you've got a candle making area that doesn't have a lot of room, this thing would fit perfect in a corner. And then of course the dial, you're going to have to play with a little bit just to see where your temperature marks are. Uh, the one that I've got only has uh, max temp and then wax wax melt temp and then of course off. Uh, not a huge deal. I set it right to wax melt. It immediately started going down. And then of course, once I got a good base, which you should do with all melters, once you get a good melted base in the in the bottom of your wax melter, go ahead and turn that up, a temp, up to temperature and then just go ahead and let it heat all the way up. Uh, if you're starting it up for the very first time again, you always want to make sure that you put relief holes in the wax once it starts to melt. That way you don't get a lot of pressure built up around the wax uh, when it seals to the uh, to the diameter of the melter itself. And of course, on top of that, it comes with a really nice metal stir. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you call that one, but uh, it fits all the way down inside there. It's uh, It works really well, easy to clean off because it's solid metal. And then of course, the wick tabs, the wick stickers, and the wicks itself. It's a really nice kit right out of the box and they do this for all right around $136. So if anybody's looking for a melter, uh, like I said, this is a first look. I've been using it for the last couple days. It is absolutely something I would recommend right out of the box and I'm gonna be doing a full video on this one, a full review video once I get to test it more in depth. I'm gonna run a few different waxes through it, uh, but fresh out of the box, this thing is really nice. You should definitely take a look at it. And of course, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can find the link to this in the video description down below. It's on Amazon if you just type in 2 auto v3 you can find it there and of course if you do have one of these please let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below i'm betting there's at least a couple makers that watch the channel that do have this melter and of course if you want to see anything in the next video please again let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see and i'll go ahead and try to do that in the demo and in the video and as always subscribe to the channel hit the like on the video and we'll see you in the next one